Hey YouTube, today we're going to be talking about <clears throat> propane stove. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so this is the thing. I guess if, you, if you're just addicted to food and you like it cooked or warm, this is what you need. This one here is a Coleman. I've got a couple of different ones. But um, this one's not bad for the money. I mean, it's it's got a, a really nice um, stand. Uh, it's got a really good. Got my wife's candle lighter. Anyway, it's got a really nice uh, flame. I mean, the, it's it's nice because it's adjustable, right? That's, like, that's a low. Listen to this thing. It's like a jet engine. Oh, I just killed it. I don't know if you can hear that or see it. That. that thing's like throwing out some huge heat. And it's got a little clicker on the side. And you can adjust like extra high, medium, low. Um, anyway, wanted to show it to you today. Got Pearl pot of coffee going on here and be careful and for all you kids out there if you're watching this video don't mess with open flame um, I probably shouldn't be doing this in the house but the video is kind of uh, for if the power went out your stove isn't working the lights are out you need a way to get that coffee going in the morning or if you needed to fry up some eggs or spam or whatever you got just a little emergency kind of a setup, but um, you know it works really good. It uh, works with these little propane bottles, and I know that these little green. Uh, let's see, turn it a little bit so you can see that. Um, I know these little pro green propane bottles are kind of expensive for what you get, but um, you can buy an adapter. Uh, Harbor Freight carries it. I think even Walmart carries it. And what what it does is it allows you to take these green imp bottles when they're empty, and you can hook it up to like a propane tank cylinder for like your barbecuer, and you flip it upside down. You can refill these things for next to nothing. I mean, maybe I don't know. Depends on what you're buying the propane for when it's in the in the bigger canisters. But uh, you'll pay a couple bucks a piece for these. Seems like they're about seven bucks for four of them, or for two of them at Walmart. Uh, so you're probably three fifty a piece somewhere in that neighborhood. I bet you could fill these things up off one of them small propane tanks if you if you bought your propane right. Um, I don't know, fifty cents a bottle. I mean, or a buck. Cheap. So anyway, there's that option. You do have to buy a few of these to get started with, so you have something when they're empty to, to refill. So always hang on to these because they work good. This one here has actually been refilled. I refilled it. Um, and man, I'll tell you, it could be, it could make the difference, you know, right? If you're, you got nothing else and you, you know, you don't have like a camp chef stove or something to cook on as an alternative, this might be the thing you want. Um, I don't know, fairly inexpensive. I think I paid $25 for this down at the hardware store. We got a lumber a lumber store here in town, and I think I paid $25, $26 bucks for it. Um, I've had a few of them. See, Pearl's actually working already. She's perking. I'm going to turn it down just a hair. Oh, there's a. Okay. So, um, you know, for the $25, get a few of these bottles. Um, you know, you got all your pots and pans in your house. Everything will work on it. Um, I've used this to cook rice when we're out camping in the pressure cooker. There's the pressure cooker over here. I've actually got a, some beans in it right now, and water just soaking in it right now. I'm going to make some pinto beans with bacon. I don't see them that or not. I'll spill all the water out. But anyway, the beans are in there soaking. That's going to be a good meal. Um, but I've used this on this. I've, like I said, I've cooked coffee with it. You know, I've cooked 
French toast. I've done pretty much everything on this that I, that I can the stove in here. Um, yeah, it's a one little little burner, but man, I'll tell you, it's a mighty little thing. I mean, it's got a lot of power. Um, you know, if you need to boil some water or run, you know, anything like this, works fine. Um, there is other ones that I do have. Uh, I've got one that's a propane. It's lower profile, and it'll do butane or propane. Um, they're pretty inexpensive too. And I, when I when I say inexpensive, it's probably 40, 50 bucks. And I mean they go up from there. But the ones that I've used in the past have been fine, um, and they do work great on both. You can do propane, butane on that one. Comes with a hose, and you can hook up one of these little bottles to it again. I like using the propane. Um, just because it's cheaper and easier to find than the butane, but that doesn't mean that um, it works any better. Um, but yeah, keep that in mind. I mean, it's always good to have that back up um, to where if the power goes out, it's going to be out for a long period of time. If you just need to boil up some water to put, you know, as long as you've got something, a pot or something to put water in and boil it, it's disinfecting the water. Um, to where you can drink it or maybe you just need to bring it up to a boil to put it into a cup of noodles or make some top ramen or fry up some eggs or whatever it is nobody likes to go hungry it's always nice to have warm food in the belly get into my belly anyway for now that's that video uh and that's propane stove craig's way until next time be aware of your surroundings Remember where you came from, remember how to get back there.